What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Kicking It with the Grants. Hey, kicking it with the Grants. Hey, kicking it with the, kicking it with the, kicking it with the Grants. What's up, you guys? How you guys doing today? I hope everybody's doing wonderful. So we're gonna come on with a short little haul or whatnot. So y'all know fall is coming, school is coming, y'all. That's true in the background. Sorry about that in advance. But school is coming and it is time to start getting prepared for school. Whether you're going back to school or you're going to be homeschooling, you still got to get some stuff for the kids to do, Um, get all their work done like that. So I'm going to show you what I got or whatever it has. And while I'm going through this, I'm going to just be talking and sharing my thoughts and opinions about how I feel about this thing, going back to school or being homeschooling and stuff. Right now, she plays too much, y'all. Right now, I'm kind of 50 50 on everything. That's why I got this stuff, this stuff like this, because I just don't know right now. I just don't know. But let's start off with, uh, let's start from over here. So over here we have some index cards. These are great, as you guys know, um, for you know when you're studying and stuff like that. Ooh. Girl, the ghetto. But <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. But yeah, I got um five of these. They are on sale. Um, at up, y'all know up and up is um Target. So I got five of these from Target. It was for, there was four nine cents at Target on the app I got, and I got these from um I'm gonna say the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna say the Dollar Tree or Walmart. I don't know. I forgot. I also got some post-its. I got the post-its from Walmart, I believe. Not sure as well for that, but they are also on sale. There's for a dollar. My son Sammy loves these post-it notes so you know that's really for him he just like to stick them around everywhere and these are also good for sight words for Kayvon I like get these sticky notes and I stick them what his teacher told me to do is his sight words you stick on write his sight words on the post-it card and you stick it around the house and whatever every time he passed that post-it note he has to say the word spell the word and I could you know if I want to you know be the little challenge and make him use it in the sentence or you know you know something like that so that's been helpful for him I got these three cards. These are mostly for True. Um, this is not for True. She don't know how to add, y'all. She ain't that. She ain't doing that right now. You feel me? <laughs> but that's for Kayvon. He's gonna be um doing more addition and stuff like that. But these are for True. We got the colors and the numbers. So we're gonna be learning that or whatever about that. Let's scoop, scoop, scoop down. Oh my God! I just fell to this side on this top of these boxes. So I got some more flashcards. These are for, I like these to be for basically, maybe True and Kayvon because they, he know his colors, but do he know his colors in Spanish? That is the real question. Dun -dun -dun. And this right here is also for Kayvon. It's a um, good um, way to practice how to do math problems. You get the dice, you roll them, and he'll be like five plus, say you got a dice, say five plus one equals six. You know, if you keep on going over and over, that's how you get stuck in our knowledge. Repetition, repetition, repetition is key for these young students to keep stuff in their head and learn, learning and stuff like that. Um, we got a time clock thing. Just so I want to time them to do something. If I got some work for them to do, make it fun and time them. I was so, I got this from Target for a dollar. A dollar, a dollar. Target hotspot was really uh, on fire today. But I also found these. I got these also from Target. I was so happy when I saw these. I love magnets things. That is K Peon in the background snoring. You guys, I'm so sorry. Like super sorry. This is like a real time life vlog. I ain't wait till everybody go to sleep and stuff. Oh my god, he's loud. He gonna be very embarrassed after this. I can't edit that out at all. <laughs> anyway, so I saw God dang Peon. Snoring too loud. Group. He said he don't snore. So I got some magnetic um little, little numbers, and I love these things. True can play with these on the refrigerator and stuff like that. And we can do some addition and stuff with Kayvon. Just love these things. Like oh my god, I was so excited. I saw it. That was also at Target. Let me put this down over here. It's some got these from the Dollar Tree. Just some stickers because. I got these boxes down here that you guys see. I want the boys to decorate these boxes. I'm gonna show you guys the boxes. I've been looking for these boxes forever and I finally found them at Walmart today. I was so happy it was only $8. I'll let y'all see that later. But I just got some stickers for they can um for they can you know decorate their boxes. This is um Captain Marvel, Paw Patrol, and um what is this? Some trucks, Tonka trucks. So I got that. That's cute. Oh, look at that. That's me. Hey. I got that for the decorated um box. 
and right here I got this I thought it was so cute from Target as well it's like you can write and stuff and but it's like I got dry erase boards so I'm gonna put my own addition products in here with my like I don't really gotta use this paper right here I could just get my own paper and it can just write on it and like easy to erase I thought it was real cute it's only a dollar you guys like come on can't beat that for a dollar and then I got this because you know um story time for K1 I know in kindergarten he was used to write his stories down here and he had to draw a picture to explain what he just um, wrote so I thought this was cute as well to get his only a dollar at um what's his name Target so right here is the box I was talking about you guys I've been looking for they're kind of big yes they are but they're eight dollars they're seven eighty four to be exact so not be eight dollars yet and I got them all in blue and like I got these because I like I said I don't know if I'm homeschooling or not I don't know yet I haven't been made to, or forced to pick when I'm homeschooling or not so I'm still up in the air what I want to do I don't know what I want to do I'm so 50 50 on each thing pros and cons to all of it you feel me I just don't want to make the wrong decision when it comes down to going back to school too early or whatnot but yeah in the inside I don't know if I can see that oh here we go it got the components. It got put their pencils in here, erasers, um, markers, whatever. It was just all there. And it'd be in one space. You lift it up and it got all this space to put their folders and papers and assignments and stuff. So if I do homeschool, I can use these buckets. They can just be their personal buckets. They just pick it up and go. They don't have to have they don't have to have paper all over my dang house, all over the flow. They're gonna be crying, this is my pencil, this is my pen, this is my scissors. No, it's all of your stuff. Your box is what you have. So I got four of those for the boys. And if, even if they, I do decide to take them to school, they can still use this for like, they can use it for after school, you know, just to stay organized. You know, it's just a little handy thing to stay organized. And they clip, if I'm trying to clip them up. Do I got this lid on row? Sorry, y'all. Uh, child, I'm gonna clip the oh, go. There we go. I don't wanna break it now. Hold on. There we go. So they clip down and stuff like that. So I thought it was very cute. Like I said, I got four of them. One, two, and three, and four. And they're gonna, kids gonna be decorated with the uh, stickers I got them. Be decorating the um, boxes and stuff like that. So I will let y'all, don't even worry about it. After I'm done with all this, they're gonna decorate the boxes. I will come back on here and show them what they, how they decorate their boxes and how they, uh, how I also set them up. God, I'm tired of talking, my throat hurt. Oh. Okay, so down here, let's put some stuff up here now. We got some, this was 50 cents from Target. And this was, I think I got this from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I also got some dry erase markers because the kids got all these dry erase boards. I got a big one in my room. You don't know what happened watching my vlog. I have a big one in their room. They have a big dry erase board. They got mini dry erase boards and they always losing my thing of keeping the top off. And then my day markers dry out. So I got plenty of those. Down here, we got some mechanical pencils. I have two people in my family it was kiara and sammy they own these mechanical pencils i don't know how they use these mechanical pencils i honestly think they suck i don't like them at all but i got them for them we got some mechanical pencils we got lead to go with it right there so i just wanted to like to re-up on some stuff you know how that is um but i got some really pencils it was a dollar and then i had got some more pencils another dollar and these are, are the already sharpened pencils. These are only a dollar forty nine for the already sharpened pencils. You can't get that. You know the other pencils they be wanting you to get, them teacher wants you to get. They be like five dollars a box just because they sharpen. Mm -mm. I got it from one fifty at um, Target. Got these for uh, like fifty cents. And then I got these pencils for like two dollars. So I got used these for um Kayvon. He you know he's he's smaller and him and true. They can write easily on that or whatever. I just got a bottle of blue because it was a dollar and it looked it's so cute. <laughs> Who don't want orange me purple glue? Yes, yeah, true. Hold on, y'all. Moving alongside here. I just picked up two more markers because I don't like markers in my house because markers be getting everywhere, be bleeding everywhere, and mm -mm, I don't really like them. So I got two of those. I had oh shoot. Dang it. Oh, those also was two for a dollar at Walmart. And these were 65 cents at Target, which I'm pretty mad because I went to um, Walmart today and saw these things for 50 cents. Like, really? You know, I'm always trying to save me a couple of pennies and dimes and nickels. 65 cents, but it is what it is. I got three of those. I think I got a, I got a couple of those in my closet as well still. So, pens, I have to always read up on pens because as y'all know, I go to school as well and I use nothing but pens. I might use a pencil every now and then, but my go-to is pens. 
and I love this brand. This big brand is so good, and it be roll on like butter, baby. So I got a blue pack, a black pack, another black pack, another blue pack, a red pack, and a black pack. And those are all the pins. I got me a, a pack of pins in my backpack right now as we speak. <laughs> So over here we got some composition books. Y'all know y'all, these teachers love these composition books for some reason. I personally like these spiral books, but they want the composition books. I didn't buy that many because I didn't know what color they might need if they actually do go to school. But if they don't go to school, they don't need no different color. So I just got these. It's not that many. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these are these for 69 cents, which I'm mad about because on Target app, it was 50 cents. If I would have knew that, I would have got 50 cents, not 69 cents. Y'all always check y'all apps before y'all go out because y'all would be missing money and spending too much money like I did. I'm so sad. I'm still mad about that, y'all. Still mad. Um, I got five crayons. They was 35 cents each from um, Target. That's a good deal. And I got these from um, Dollar Tree. Some clothes pins. Back here, we got some highlighters. Highlighters on deck. Highlighters on deck. Or whatever like that. Got some paper. I know I got a good seven packs of paper in my closet right now. I got seven packs of college rules in my um college rule in my closet. So I got me some big fat paper. I got some folders right here. We got about one, two, they 50 cents at Walmart and Target right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh my god, how many photos do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I got 20 folders, and they are the prongs in with the folders with the um, yeah, um, fold that thing one the teachers like. And this is my favorite part, you guys. I love freaking spiral notebooks. But look at these colors, check these colors out. Let me see how much I got. I got um, a couple from Target and a couple of from Walmart. My thing to tell y'all is, I will go to Walmart to get my books because they were both a dollar. But these only have 70 sheets and the one from Walmart have 100 sheets. So yeah, and they're both a dollar. So I will get those. But I could get these to the smaller kids, the little smaller ones, and the big ones to the bigger kids. But I got a pink one. Look at that pink. That pink is so cute. A black one. We got a purple one. Let's see how much we got. Let me see how much I got. One, two, three, four, look at that color, five. So I got six of I got I got six of the 70 sheets from Target and all variety of colors and then from Walmart I got five Ooh, as you may see like I said before these are bigger in a one subject let me show y'all one subject with a hundred sheets and I like these better and they're only a dollar like look at it, it's way better than the one from Target. So my, if I were y'all looking for some spiral notebooks and y'all wanna say which the best deal, Walmart by far is the best deal. And they got the same colors. They actually got more prettier colors than Target. So the pretty color they had at Target was this pink and this yellow. But they got the purple, the blue, the pink, the yellow, and the green. So we're gonna be using that up. But yeah, I just wanna show y'all what I got for the kids so far. I have talked a whole lot, you guys. Like, my throat is freaking hurting. But before I go, just want to let y'all know. Um, whatever decision y'all make, if, if, if it's bringing y'all kids to school or keeping them home from homeschool, don't let nobody sway you. Don't nobody let nobody talk you down and say, oh, you should keep them home because school wrong nobody. And some people are like, don't do, do, take them to school because do, do, do. You do what's best for you and your family. F all the rest, you know? I don't, I, it's, it's what they, I mean, I just, I don't I don't know a pretty way to put it, but like, you gotta do what's right for you and your kids and your family. Like, if you have to take them to school, because everybody's not able to stay home, then take them to school and don't let nobody make you feel bad because you, oh, you got your kids out there in the corona, what kind of parent are you? You are a good parent, you feel me? You are a good parent, I don't know who I'm talking to, but you are a good parent, you don't feel bad for your kids that go to school, everybody's not able to be a homeschool person, you feel me? That's all I have to say. But, um, I see y'all when my kids come back with the boxes. Hey, I just, I don't know how long this video is. 